Wires are the unsung heroes of modern life, quietly powering our homes, devices, and industries. Insulated wires, in particular, are a marvel of engineering and innovation. They're not just pieces of metal wrapped in plastic. Their creation involves a fascinating interplay of material science, precise manufacturing processes, and rigorous quality control. But have you ever wondered how these seemingly simple components are made? In this video, we'll explore the intricate steps involved in making insulated wires, from the initial extraction of raw materials to the finished product that ensures safe and efficient electrical transmission. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The process begins with the core component, the conductor. Most insulated wires use copper or aluminum as the conducting material, with copper being the most common due to its excellent conductivity and malleability. The journey of wire production starts with mining these metals. Copper ore, for instance, is extracted from deep within the earth and refined into pure copper through smelting and electrolytic refining. Once purified, the copper is transformed into large billets or rods that can be further processed. For aluminum, a similar process begins with bauxite ore, which is refined into aluminum oxide and then electrolyzed to produce pure aluminum. These metals form the backbone of the wire and must meet stringent quality standards to ensure they perform reliably under various conditions. Once the raw metal is ready, it's time to shape it into a wire. This step, called wire drawing, involves pulling the metal through a series of progressively smaller dies to achieve the desired thickness. The process relies on high-precision machinery and requires careful monitoring to prevent defects like uneven diameters or surface flaws. Depending on the application, the final diameter of the wire can range from a few millimeters to less than a millimeter for fine wires used in electronics. After drawing, the wire may undergo annealing, a heat treatment process that softens the metal and enhances its flexibility. This step is crucial, especially for wires that need to be bent or twisted during installation. With the conductor ready, the next stage is insulation. Insulation serves as a protective barrier, preventing electrical currents from escaping the wire and protecting users from shocks. The materials used for insulation vary depending on the application. Common choices include polyvinyl chloride, or PVC, polyethylene, and thermoplastic elastomers. Each material is chosen for its unique properties, such as heat resistance, flexibility, or chemical durability. For instance, PVC is widely used because it's cost-effective and resistant to moisture and chemicals while polyethylene is preferred for high-frequency applications due to its excellent insulating properties. The insulation process begins with the preparation of the insulating material. In most cases, the chosen material is delivered in the form of pellets, which are melted into a viscous liquid. This liquid is then applied to the wire through a process called extrusion. During extrusion, the molten plastic is forced through a die and evenly coated around the wire as it passes through. This process must be incredibly precise to ensure uniform thickness, as even slight variations can compromise the wire's performance. The coated wire is then rapidly cooled, often in a water bath, to solidify the insulation and lock it in place. In some cases, Additional layers of insulation or protective sheathing may be added. For example, wires used in harsh environments, like underground cables or automotive applications, might have extra layers of abrasion-resistant or flame-retardant materials. These layers are applied using similar extrusion techniques, with each layer tailored to meet specific performance criteria. Multi-layered wires are often subjected to additional testing to ensure the layers are bonded securely and can withstand the rigors of their intended use. After the insulation process, the wires undergo rigorous quality control. 
manufacturers test the wires for a variety of factors, including electrical resistance, insulation integrity, and mechanical durability. High voltage testing ensures that the insulation can withstand the electrical loads it's designed for, while tensile tests check the wire's ability to endure stretching and pulling. Some wires are also tested for resistance to extreme temperatures or exposure to chemicals, depending on their intended application. This stage is critical because even a minor defect in the insulation or conductor could lead to safety hazards or performance failures. Once the wires pass quality control, they are prepared for distribution. This often involves cutting the wires into specified lengths and winding them onto spools or reels for easy transport and storage. Some wires are bundled together into cables, which involve grouping multiple insulated wires and enclosing them in an outer sheath for added protection. For example, the cables used in telecommunications might include several twisted pairs of insulated wires to prevent signal interference and ensure clear communication. The journey of insulated wires doesn't end at the factory. These wires are integral to countless applications, from powering household appliances to transmitting data across continents. Innovations in wire manufacturing continue to drive progress in various industries. For instance, advancements in materials science are leading to the development of eco-friendly insulation materials, such as biodegradable plastics and low-smoke, zero-halogen compounds. Similarly, new techniques in conductor processing are improving energy efficiency and reducing losses during electrical transmission. The production of insulated wires is far more complex than it might seem at first glance. It's a process that combines raw material refinement, precision engineering, and meticulous quality control to produce a product we often take for granted. These wires are the lifelines of modern civilization, ensuring that electricity and information flow seamlessly through our interconnected world. The next time you flip a switch, charge your phone, or connect to the internet, take a moment to appreciate the intricate journey of the insulated wires that make it all possible. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.